So, attempt to teach two lessons here, and we'll see how this goes. Keep in mind, there will be visuals up here, so that you can see them. I will try to write a little bit on the board, but failing that, either on that side or that side, there are going to be notes about what I am talking about. So, we are all the way to lesson five, or sorry, lesson three in chapter five. Climate change and natural things that cause climate change. So, we have lots and lots of historical precedents for natural climate change. In fact, in 1991, some hikers found a very old man. Uh, he was 5,000 years old. He was dead. They found him with a lot of, uh, he had a lot of clothes that were specifically designed to withstand a very cold climate, and they found him frozen in a glacier. So they named him Ozzy. Sure, why not? After removing him from the ice, they began to study his weapons, clothes, tools. They found that his shoes were set up for walking on ice. They were they had a hard bottom made out of a tanned bear hide. The top was made out of deer skin, and it had woven bark to give it a nice hard shoe and give it traction on the ground. They were also stuffed with uh, dry grass to serve as sort of a sock. So even 5,000 years ago, people were ready for the cold. So climates are, sci climate, climate scientists are aware that climates are constantly changing. And they occur slowly. But the consequences of such changes are great. In studying the ancient climates, scientists follow an important principle. If plants or animals today need certain conditions to live, then similar plants and animals in the past also required those things. Scientists will analyze pollen from thousands of years ago found in lake bottoms to see what kind of plants live near the lakes. Tree rings. The rings inside of trees, because trees grow a little every year and then stop growing in this winter because it's cold and they can't grow, yield a lot of information about previous climate. So they can also drill cores out of ice to find this out, but tree rings are where a lot of our information comes from. So, there are a number of explanations for climate changes in the past, natural ones, right? There weren't always humans throwing things into the air to cause a climate change, so climate change does happen naturally. Uh, movement of the continents have caused climates to change because they've shifted uh, longitudes, so they've gotten further away from the equator where it's warm. Uh, the position of the sun relative to the Earth changes, the axial tilt of the Earth tends to change, believe it or not. Major volcanic eruptions can change the climate. Uh, also, the sun's energy output can change, and that affects us as well. So there are lots of things that can change the way our climate is, and have changed the way our climate is. The first is the movement of the continents. The movement of continents over time has changed the locations of where land is relative to oceans. These changes affect wind, they affect ocean currents, they change the climate. Slowly, because continents move very slowly, but it has happened. The Earth's position has caused a lot of ice ages. Ice age is a time when the global temperature drops, I think it's five degrees, and you get a lot on average, and you get a lot more ice. You get the glaciers come down, uh, a lot of the currents in the ocean stop working because of this, but the Earth's climate's been affected by the angle of the Earth's axis, and the fact that the Earth, the Earth's orbit around the sun is elliptical. So about 100,000 years, the shape of our orbit around the sun varies, because it's an oval, not a circle when the orbit becomes more elliptical, more stretched out, you get less sunlight reaching Earth, causing a cold ice age where the glaciers 
advance from the north and south towards the equator. During each ice age, huge sheets of ice covered large parts of the Earth's surface, and scientists think there have been about 20 ice ages on Earth during the last 2 million years, the last being about 10,000 years ago. As an aside, I've always been told that they come about every 10,000 years, so we're overdue for an ice age. Volcanoes can also cause volcanoes can also cause global warming. How? Well, they throw a lot of ash and dust up into the atmosphere. This, these solid particles are what's known as aerosols. Aerosols. Aerosols are solid particles of liquid or drops. Sorry, solid particles or drops of liquid or condensed gas in the atmosphere, up up higher than they're supposed to be. These tend to block out the sun, causing less solar radiation to make it to Earth. Because less solar radiation makes it to the surface, the Earth's surface is colder. This causes another ice age. Solar energy can change as well. The amount of light that the sun gives off changes. We have sunspots and solar flares. Solar flares are increases and sunspots are decreases. If you have a lot of sunspots, Sunspots are dark, cool regions on the surface of the sun. You get less solar energy coming from the sun to the earth, so the temperature on earth will go down. So, these are the things that can affect our climate naturally. Next, you'll be learning about, actually tonight, probably, you'll be learning about ways that humans are affecting the Earth's climate.